What's up, it's Quinn or Just The Wing Tips, and today I'm gonna learn how to properly dock start. Man, I love foiling stickers. Nope, they're coming back this summer. Got the Ono Swift 175, this thing is awesome. And with the 75 mass, long fuse, and the hydrofoil wing screws as always, helping me dial in the setups. And shelter hat, no flop. Send your boy some hats. All right, I would like to mention that I have learned to dock start in the past. This is me on the Armstrong 2400, an absolutely massive wing. All I did was throw it out there, jump on, and I was gliding. So the purpose of this video is to relearn on a smaller wing and go through the learning process and pull out some useful tips that I could share with you. The first thing I noticed when attempting the dock start was the dock height. So this dock is about the length of my mass, making the board even with the dock and that made it very difficult for me to run with both hands on the board because I was so hunched over. I thought I'd be able to do this like a beach start. If you haven't seen my how to beach start tutorial, go check that out, but I was wrong. So I had to think of some other ways to keep the momentum and have control of the board while running with it. And that's when I realized all I needed to do was find the balance point of the board, use one hand so I'm not as hunched over, and run with it. Easier said than done, as you can tell by my girlfriend's vlogs in between my attempts. Try number 69, um, Pitted Daddy is in the works, struggling. Shout out my girlfriend for videoing me on 79 attempts. As you can see here, with a little bit of practice, this was the piece to the puzzle I was missing. I'm finally getting a little bit of glide and almost pumping out of it. This is a great time to mention that if you're not a proficient pumper and you want to nail your first dock start, use the largest foil possible. If you try it on a smaller wing, you'll encounter this problem I'm having here where I'm just not able to feather the wing to the surface and I'm pushing through, losing all my lift. Okay, now let me run you through my dock starting process step by step. First, I begin with both hands on each side of the rail and foil just below the surface of the water. Then once I start running and getting some momentum, I plant my back hand right at that balance point in the center of the board. Next is jumping on the board. I wish I had a better tip for this, and this is the reason I'm so inconsistent. You really have to nail your foot positioning every time, and unless you're holding onto the board, it's gonna be a gamble. And the last step in the process is feathering that wing to the surface without pushing through and getting it to pumping speed. After that, you just get to explore, pump to your legs or lungs give out, do some flat water cars, and just have a blast. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram at just the wingtips, and most importantly, keep on frothing. Yeah.